Hi, this is Paul from Paramount Network Systems, found at webjunk.com. Today we're covering PHP list and importing, but this time we're importing with attributes. Hopefully you understand we created previously an age group attribute and a full name attribute. So now we're going to be importing and we're going to use the import emails with different values for attributes meaning that each user will have some different attributes than other users so when we go in and we're going to select this one now one thing we didn't cover before but you may want to know about is this one has a text extension it doesn't care what the extension is it cares that the format is correct now this has not only the email addresses here but also the full name and whether they're over 21 or under 21 now here's the important thing email is a required field it has to be that word that spelling if it's just mail it will not work it is not case sensitive but it needs to have that field or the file will not import at all these are correct so we're going to show you this will should come in pretty easy these are comma separated as opposed to tab separated that some people will use and that can cause a problem if somebody's name had a comma in it the other thing is that when you're using things like over 21 and under 21 it's a select attribute field so if this is not correct you're going to have problems so you need to make sure that these match uh, now we're going to go and import so now we're going to import emails with different values here we're going to select our list our cigar magazine we're going to browse and select our nomap.txt field delimiter default this tab in this case we're going to use a comma the record delimiter is a line break which it is we're going to test the output we want to see if there's any problems before we start importing a large list and we're going to show any warnings for invalid records which could be if that field was wrong now the other thing we're going to do for now is we're going to make confirmed immediately so that we don't send any confirmation emails and then we don't need to throttle so now we click on import now you see there's a summary here full name maps to full name age group maps to age group this is just showing that it successfully recognized the attribute fields and it says four lines will be imported you also see for each of these records warning record has more values than header indicates this is sort of one of these errors that the system will pop up sometimes and can be ignored it usually doesn't mean there's a problem it's just saying that there could be more because of how it sees all these separate names the other thing you noticed is there's no double quotes it's recommended to be in double quotes but not required it will then strip out the quotes anyway but this does show email is mapped to the email address full name is mapped to their full name age group is mapped to the over 21 in the case of Willie you'll see the age group is mapped to under 21 so now in, in using this one if the output looks okay you click confirm import you don't need to go back and resubmit and now it's imported and you see it's four emails successfully imported four emails subscribed to the list so if we go over to our list for cigar magazine you see now four members you see view members and here's our members and if you look at John Smith over 21 and here's his full name now if we go back and look at Willie you'll see Willie William his full name is listed but his age group is correctly set at under 21 so it did import not only the emails but the fields as well and you also see this user is confirmed and that's how you do a basic import with fields. We'll go into a more advanced importing in our next video. Thank you for watching.